Hey guys, welcome back to Good Life Farm. So today I am making a recipe that uses some canned potatoes. Uh, anytime I mention canning potatoes or using them, I have people ask me how exactly I use them. And one of the questions I've gotten many times is how do I use them to make my cheesy mashed potatoes? And for me, they're actually kind of smashed potatoes because I don't actually get them super, super smooth. We actually like chunks to chew in our potatoes. Um, but of course, if you prefer super smooth ones, you can just mash them some more. But to make these, I don't even measure anything. I just kind of put it all together, give it a taste and adjust as it's needed to be. Um, and so as you saw, I put in a quart of my canned potatoes and I currently have them boiling. I let them boil for five to 10 minutes, a good rolling boil. That way they're heated all the way through and the potatoes are nice and hot. And so while those are boiling, um, I have two things that I wanted to share. First of all, every time this is seen in my videos, I have people asking where I got it. This is a vintage jar opener and I actually got it from Etsy. Um, and you can still find them occasionally on Etsy and you are going to pay a pretty penny most of the time. However, I recently saw a modern version available on, on Amazon and it looks just like this jar opener. Now this one I'm pretty sure is stainless steel and it is made in America. I cannot say that for the other one. All I know is it looks just like it. So if you would like to check it out, I'll put a link to that down below. Um, the other thing is completely unrelated to cooking, but on my website, I have a contact page where people can send me messages. Um, I've had that page on there for years, I mean, ever since I started blogging. However, I just discovered that the form that is on there where people can write me messages and it emails it to me, has not been sending me the majority of the messages. And it looks like it's been doing this for quite a while. There are hundreds of messages that have been archived in there. Um, so if you have sent me a message through that form and I did not respond, I sincerely apologize because apparently I never got it. I have gotten some here and there, but I have definitely not been getting all of them and so I have changed the page. I created it as just a link now so when you click on it it just opens up your email uh, whether it's on your phone or your computer or whatever and it, and it uses your email app to send the message instead of the form. And so again if you've sent me messages going back I don't know how long and I did not respond that is why. So I am going to go ahead and get out my little colander because these are just about ready. And then I'm going to drain the potatoes and add a couple goodies. So I've got my potatoes here and I'm going to add in about a tablespoon and a half maybe of butter. I'm going to add in a splash of half and half. It's maybe three tablespoons to a quarter of a cup. I'm going to add in a little pinch of salt, just a little one, a little bit of black pepper, just 
a touch. I'm not a huge, huge fan of too much in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my potato masher and I'm going to mash this all together. All right, now like I said, we like our potatoes chunky. So mine are chunky and I know some people that absolutely drives them insane. But if you're one of those people, you can just go ahead and keep on mashing. And I'm just gonna add in some shredded cheese and I'm using just a four, four cheese blend. But you can use some pepper jack cheese, some sharp cheddar. That's what I usually use. Um, but I decided to go with this one today. And I'm just going to throw in a couple handfuls. And I'm just going to stir this all together. And I do have my stove eye on very low right now, just so that the potatoes stay nice and hot while I'm doing this. And melt that cheese in to the potatoes. And you can add more or less cheese. You could add a little bit of garlic powder to this if you want. You can really just play around with it. Like I said, it's not a recipe per se. I would call this just a technique. And there you go. Now I've got stringy, cheesy potatoes. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial. These are gonna go perfect with these steaks that Mr. Smith is out there grilling. And we've got some green beans over there heating up. And uh, that'll be dinner tonight. So thanks for joining me here again in Homestead Kitchen. My name is Constance at Good Life Farm, and I'll talk to you all next time.